Hey guys, welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. My name is Mumbles, and we are going over 12.11 patch notes. We finally got them a day after the patch released. Uh, we also got a hot fix as well, so we'll be going over that in just a little bit. Um, first off, we will go over the core patch notes first, just so that you can see where the hot fix is going to come in play. So obviously, we have the added factory expansion, and as we go over this, you'll see me going and going through fighting Dagilla and stuff like that. Uh, just so you can kind of see the new section. There is still the old factory. It is an expansion, not a rework like we thought it might be. Uh, they did just open up a, a wall on one side and made a whole new room there. Uh, but it's not crazy big. It is a big room, but it doesn't double or triple the size of the map. Um, it's probably about a third or a half of the last map. So you get about a size and a half now um, total. So we do have the factory expansion. New scav boss to Gilla, which is Killa's brother, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, he's got a sledgehammer and he's got the some sort of shotgun with a thermal scope on it um, It's called like a smart shotgun. Uh, there's two different thermal sights now for close range There's the one that specifically fits on the new shotgun, which is his and then he's got the one that um, Kind of flips up on like an SMG or something like that. They are close range though We don't know what pricing is gonna be because this is the first time we've seen something like this um, But he Tagila has chosen factory as his place of home um, he does have a very unique AI, uh, kind of like running and hiding and getting you in high and just getting you around corners. He does chase you down with the sledgehammer and finish you off with one last hit. It is absolutely fantastic. It's thrilling to fight him. If you're out of ammo and he's charging you, let's hope you can outrun him. Because if he can, he's going to catch up and just sledge you to death. It is He is probably one of my favorite bosses now. The boss can set ambushes, open suppressive fire, and breach if needed. So he is very aggressive, however he will run, hide, and wait for you to ambush you. Um, he is one of my favorite bosses again to fight just because he's very unique. His AI is not like any others. I love him. You can now have the misfire on almost every gun in the game. Uh, I'm assuming misfire may not happen on bolt actions. I haven't gotten one and I've used some pretty beat up Mosins so far. I don't know if it's just the RNG being on my side. Um, but I have gotten on like PP-19s, AKs, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, so pay attention to your condition of your gun. Um, probably scav guns that you pick up, you're not going to really use, especially late white. Uh, your misfire can be resolved by hitting shift T. It does prompt you in the bottom right corner, a little flag will come up just saying you had a misfire. Hit shift T and it'll go ahead and unjam that gun. Uh, the technical condition of guns and deterioration from firing, um, so for what it looks like about a 30 round mag takes away about two to three percent of the gun um, Suppressors add 70 to 75 percent so from all the suppressors. I've seen so far uh, now There will be different percentages for all the suppressors. Maybe even some muzzle breaks um, So do keep your eye out on that when you're trying to put suppressors on um, Suppressors are gonna be a little less common now because they're gonna wear down your gun faster different ammo now has an increase or decrease chances of misfires so your lower tier ammo like your SP and HP is probably gonna be a lot more possibility of jamming where your bs and ignolic and stuff like that will have a less chance of uh misfiring which this will be more of a thing in early wipe late wipe if you're running the high tier ammo and your gun you're even get up with your guns and stuff like that we'll see how much it comes into play then the condition of the weapon in influences base accuracy so if you're gonna super beat up you're gonna be have more recoil less accurate that kind of stuff which is kind of cool and realistic as well. They added NVIDIA Reflex. Um, it When I used NVIDIA Reflex, um, at least boosted, it did make my screen very grainy. Um, I have it on right now. It does lock your FPS. I haven't done an insane amount of testing yet. I'm hoping Pestily or I think Veritas usually does this kind of testing. Um, maybe they'll come out with a video that kind of goes in depth of the on, off, on with boosted and that kind of stuff. Fed's Reputation. Uh, being re being the representation of scav karma, now players can lose reputation by killing non-hostile scavs and gain it by helping scavs and, and scav bosses to kill their enemies. So if you help a scav or a scav boss kill a PMC, your reputation will go up. You can also gain reputation by using a friendly scav exfil or by using car exfil, what uh, fence reputation level will affect. Um, so pretty much if you use a car exfil, your scav reputation will go up. If you use the friendly scav extract, so like a uh, factory gate on woods, um, scav lands on reserve, or 
the scav, I think it's like scav camp or something like that on interchange, uh, those will increase your fence reputation. The higher your reputation, um, the more likely a, a, a scav will help you as well as I have heard being super high level with uh, fence uh, boss scavs may even help you and be non-hostile to you. Um, I think we'll see that more late game and see what the positive and negatives are. If your reputation is very low, scavs may just automatically attack you. So keep that in mind if you have a super low uh, scav karma. Scavs may just start attacking you, so be aware of that when you're walking around the maps. Your reputation will also affect the scav box craft time, the amount of exfils for, uh, for the player scav, the car extract fee, the player scav kit, and the prices when selling items to the fence. Players will be able to purchase uninsured items lost by other players by using fence's max loyalty level. That is super cool. So if I go in with an M4 and I lose it and insurance doesn't bring it back within 24 hours, I can go and buy that gun off fence or I can buy my friend's gun off fence. We don't know what the prices are going to be. We don't know if they're going to be worth it or not. Um, but it will be kind of an interesting thing. Um... For someone who might be low level but has that max fence level, they might be able to buy those high tier kits um, that other players lost. Sorting table, additional expandable space, uh, which will help you grant uh, organization of stash. Um, sorting table is not supposed to be used for storage. I don't know what the storage table is. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. I think it's a new hideout thing, uh, but only as a temporary buffer zone. It will available only when you are out of raid, and it has no size limitations, which is kind of cool. I like that. Being able to take stuff completely out and put stuff completely back in is kind of a cool thing. You'll be able to open the sorting table by clicking the icon in the bottom of the stash and see here if I'm able to pull it up um, and find it. I will go ahead and pop it up here just so you guys can see what it looks like. Full rework of in-game ballistics parameters for objects on all... all locations penetration chances bullet deviation and fragmentation this is if you were to shoot through anything before it would pretty much have a, the same chance to deviate um and if it was penetrable it was penetrable if it wasn't it wasn't um and i think there may have been like a couple a few different like kind of levels of penetration but like now it's a little bit more working for what the material is so your metal barrels are going to be different from your like wooden crates your wooden doors are going to be different from your metal doors that stuff's going to be all kind of fixed and stuff like that so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what you can shoot straight through with what kind of ammo and what things you can't shoot through with lower tier ammo i'm kind of excited to kind of play around with this i'll probably do a testing video on this so keep out keep your eyes out for that new equipment several body armor vests chest rigs backpacks and other items i have seen so much new gear uh there's an armored beanie new level four armor that has like 30 durability um some crazy chest rigs, some crazy armors, backpacks, that kind of stuff. There's a lot that was added into this. New weapons. I personally have not seen any new weapons yet. Um, my first few days of the white. However, um, I believe the 762 FP, whatever, um, more assault rifle um, is in there. The scar might be in there. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm assuming probably a pistol or two because um, there is generally a pistol added. With almost new set of weapons is almost a pistol added every time. There is new quests. I'm assuming uh, to kill, killing to kill will be one. I'm sure there'll be a couple new factory quests. Uh, so keep your eyes out for those as well. New barter items. Um, I haven't seen any new barter items myself. Um, I don't know if they're super rare. Um, so keep your eyes out for that stuff as well. New PMC face customization options. I think there was one added for Usec and Bear. I think I picked the new one this uh, this patch. Um, so if I find a screenshot, I'll go ahead and pull that up for you guys too. New weapon mods. There is uh, two new close range thermals. There is uh, a bunch of new like shotgun mods, um, sights. Oh, there's so many different new sights now. Uh, I've seen at least four or five at this point, um, plus the mounts and the the new lasers and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited to kind of play around with that stuff to see where it fits in with the meta. Ability reported a special a suspicious player in the flea market. Uh, so this is anyone taking uh, like the uh, taking advantage and using bots and that kind of stuff. Special player status streamer. Uh, this is going to be something that you can only request through Battle State. They have no way to request it yet. However, it is in the game, and I'm assuming probably like Pestily and Landmark, all all them have that enabled. Um, and then you're, there's going to be a time to 
request it. Uh, new main menu background, they have the labs background, which you'll see here. Um, which has just has the moving camera that kind of follows your mouse around as you move it around the camera. What uh, new skill, weapon maintenance, and troubleshooting? Weapon maintenance uh, levels up by when you go to repair a weapon. Uh, every time you repair it, you get X amount of points towards the skill. Troubleshooting is when it jams in the game and you have to actually unjam the gun or undo the misfire. Um, that is how you get that skill up. So it may be worth going to shoreline going in the corner of the map with an rpk with a 95 round drum and a suppressor and just dumping that thing multiple times so that your guy can get really good at that skill probably something i'm gonna do buy like some crappy sp ammo from dirt cheap and just mag dump somewhere in the corner of the map uh taa anti-aliasing at weapon presets menu um so that's pretty much just the graphic setting uh first iteration of an en localization note re uh, rework Maximum level of character changed to 79. I don't think you can get cap now until you're 71. So there was the optics rework with a bunch of different reticles and changing the reticles and the MOA and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've personally started to like the RMR a lot more, um, the Burris Fast Fire a lot more. Um, I've already loved those sites in the past, but I'll be super excited to try out a bunch of new scopes and a bunch of new kilometers now just to see the differences from last wipe to this wipe. Because your least favorite site from last wipe may be your best site this this wipe. So definitely try those ones out again. Um, I know I hate the MRS last wipe, but I've heard it's really good this wipe. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out now. Uh, just see what it's like in the new new patch. Uh, that's the thing about Bas Battle State is they keep everything fresh and new. Um, so there you go. Uh, added a limited number of items per flea market. Now the size is one pack of items and the lot can be exceeded the size of the stash. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's the situation where people were somehow getting their stream name put up for like 7 million bottles of moonshine, that kind of stuff. Uh, the flea market is now accessible on level 20 rather than 10. So this will actually slow down the early game progression, uh, prolonging the time that we get to late game. Capital quest is now more difficult to complete. Again, we're gonna have more streamer items in it, um, as well as more quests as well as you now have to be 71. Several quest rewards have been uh, changed and some have been improved. I really hope the not killing Sanitar one has been improved because before it was, they wanted like 100 mil worth of stuff for like $500,000 worth of a reward. And it was not worth it at all. Uh, I just killed Sanitar every single time. It, it wasn't worth it. Change the rebalance spawn chances for most items. Hopefully they've fixed some of the farming of like lead X's and stuff like that, um, which may slow down the lead X runners. Because honestly, taking those people, if you make someone a hatchet on shoreline, you're taking one person that's gonna get into the beef. Uh, and it kind of, you end up, you end up getting these dead lobbies on shoreline just because everybody's going to uh, get these lead X's. Rebalance the availability of top tier ammo and gear. Um, I'm hoping they lessen the amount of slicks you got through, like, um, stashes and stuff like that. Because last wipe, I was pulling three out of every stash when I was doing on Shoreline. So hopefully they dub those down a little bit so it's not as, uh, common. Rebalance weapon mobs in turn of fighting the meta. Um, so your meta's probably gonna switch now from suppressors to more of the muzzle breaks due to the degradation. As well as probably some of the recoil benefits have changed as well. The strength skill uh, bonuses for movement and for movement speed and hopefully jumping has changed. Uh, so keep that in mind. They're going to try to slow down the game a little bit. As well as bushes, you cannot uh, lay down and you cannot run through them anymore. Um, I haven't tried it while I'm super overweight, so we'll see what happens there if that slows me down even when I'm walking. Increased leveling speed of mag drills. I did do a little bit of testing on this the other day. Uh, I think it was like the first day of wipe when I first hopped on. I went in and packed all my mags. It did go up significantly rather than last wipe where it would barely go up ever. Um, so this is good. That means we might be able to actually max out the skill now. Redone the lighting on the game interface objects. Updated the in-game map for woods. That's a little paper map so you can buy from a uh, therapist. Uh, a bunch of all fixed items. Uh, a couple here we're just going to highlight. In some cases, players wouldn't spawn even after successful matching. I know this was very frustrating for me last wipe. Where you would get in, you'd sit there in um, a lobby for waiting for players for 12, 15 minutes, and it would finally disconnect you. Uh, Sturman, no longer being silent movement, great, which means he just can't appear next to you, which is good. The blank screen still kind of happens. I think it's more of a lag between the server and uh, your computer. 
but that is definitely being fixed. The progression of the scaffing kill, uh, crafting skill, uh, diversion between the client and the back end was production was completed. Uh, inventory and ammunition of the player's hands hung when the player tried to move the cartridge for the player. So if you try to remove the cartridge from the chamber, uh, your guy's hand just kind of gets stuck there. So that has been finally fixed and it kind of blocked your screen. So glad that is fixed. Mods behind uh, a quest did not unlock. I did have this a couple times last wipe. Uh, I didn't think too much of it because of uh, it was like some, one of the ammos I don't quite use. So I wasn't too bummed out about it, but that that does happen. The consumption of the air filter was uh, higher so than it's supposed to be. So great, we're gonna be able to use the air filters a little bit fat more. So strength, endurance, and covert movement progress was not properly counted during the raid. It's really annoying when you try to go into a raid to specifically level up a skill, and for some reason it's not being counted or it goes backwards after you get out of the raid. Um, there's a couple times where when I was doing strength training where I would get into a raid run around the map, jump, all that kind of stuff, get like six points under the skill, get out of the raid, and all of a sudden it's back down to what it was originally. So I'm glad they fixed that. Hopefully that stays fixed because that's really annoying when you try to go in for specifically one thing and you can't do it. All right, so unable to fill items by drag and drop. This is mainly from um, ammo and stuff like that. I know it's super annoying when you buy something from a trader. You wouldn't be able to pack that mag or something like that, which was kind of annoying. You had to bring it into a raid and actually pack it, which worked towards the mag drills. But again, mag drills weren't really being leveled up last wipe. Uh, so I'm glad that fix as well. That's pretty much all of the big um, fixes. There's a couple audio ones, lighting ones, reloads and that kind of stuff. So nothing crazy more. Now we have the hot patch uh, that we picked up here at the top here. Uh, this just came out today. Uh, so fences reputation now won't decrease if a player scav who, if, if a player killed a scav who attacked first. Um, so you will no longer get that degradation of the um, fence reputation if a scav attacks you first. Tagilla won't get stuck in the collision on factory. He was gonna get. He was getting stuck in the rafters where he would get kind of get stuck in between the two uh, pieces, or he would kind of get stuck on one of the pillars up there and not know what to do. Um, so they did fix that, so he's gonna be going away, and various minor other issues. So I hope you guys are as as excited as I am with this patch. There's so many new changes, so many new items and guns and gun mods and stuff like that. New map with new boss. I cannot wait to jump in and try to kill this guy multiple times. I cannot wait to see what, how many new quests we have because more quests just mean longevity of the game and more content. Um, so I'm super excited to see that. I'm super excited to see how we can uh, mess around with Tagilla and see what we can get out of him. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you do go live. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Goodbye. Deuces, y'all.